Welcome back to another episode of Call of the Night. This is the part of the episode where I do a recap, so if you want to jump to the reaction, there's a timestamp below. Last time, what happened? It was a Seri-focused video uh, episode, right? She seems to be really popular, really outgoing, but it, but she has this like sense of loneliness because no matter whoever's like, everybody's texting her, everybody's trying to bother her, but they, she just called them Dragos. I guess it's like a cool term that trendy kids, I, I don't think kids say this. I don't think people actually say Drago. I was like, Drago, really? But they're a, dra dra they're, a, they're a drag, they're always bothering her. But you would think that someone as popular as her wouldn't feel so lonely. But if everybody that's trying to reach you is someone that you don't really care about, right? Then it feels very empty. In fact, the more people that try to contact you that way, it feels even more empty and lonelier. So I think I understand what Seri's trying to say. Not that I get those kind of text messages. My phone never blows up. It's only from the pizza driver or my family. Anyways, what else did happen? There was a guy that was like kind of stalking her. Kind of met as friends, but he fell in love with her on first sight, right? So there's this... <laughs> he falls in love. He's obviously ready to become a vampire. He does become a vampire at the end, but... She doesn't really, she, she doesn't really return the feelings back because I don't think she necessarily feels that way. At the end, when he did, uh, there was some really cool uh, color palette changes where, uh, where Cole kind of does like a Jotaro pose like this. Uh, everything is just like pink, green, just neon colors. Seri was about to kill him. She was like, you know what, fuck it, I'll just kill him. And I kind of forget like they're vampires. They can just casually kill like that, just without ease. And I'm like, that's a extreme solution but yeah i i guess you could huh but instead what do we do we turn him into an offspring and this is all done because of ko ko is able to kind of deconstruct the entire situation and understand the feelings from both sides and able to kind of be like a love counselor which is really ironic because he's the one trying to fall in love with nazna to become a vampire right but instead of doing he can't do that because he's doing it the wrong way he's trying to fall in love rather than spontaneously falling in love right but he's going <laughs> he's able to just like psychoanalyze both parties from Sari and the other guy and like reason like why can't you just gotta be friends at the end right and it's an important distinction friends are they just friends at the end Sari started crying thinking maybe we can just be friends right because she said more vampires and humans can't be friends but then she does accept it he becomes the offspring but I feel like it's not too clear does he feel romantic intent for her? It's kind of weird because now he's her offspring and it's like, it kind of sounds like incest in a way, but that's not really the case. Is it just platonic friendship? How could she be platonic friendship? He has to be in love with her, a vampire, in order to become a vampire. So that means he's just forever just in the state where Sari will never return feelings for him. I guess so. I don't know. I know the more I think about it. The more offsprings a vampire has, the more kind of like lonely or sad. And I, I, I imagine it would be for the offspring that doesn't get the affection back unless you're the favorite offspring, I guess. I don't really know how that works. Interesting topic. Can guys and girls just be friends? It's a complex issue. I'm just a guy that watches anime. Let's watch this week's episode. Maid cafe? Oh, a vampire maid cafe? Is this the same drunk salaryman every time? This is probably one of the vampires that we saw before, right? Maybe. Oh, hey! Hello. That eyeball sound. Now it's not being a maid. I mean, I'm down, but it doesn't really... She doesn't really have the traditional maid vibes. If anything, I feel like she would insult them. <laughs> I guess we're going to have like a... Oh, maid outfit for Nazan. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, no reaction from him? He's like, mm. Uh, you be a maid too. <laughs> uh, like, uh, from... Uh, what, was this, what was the series again? Uh, Komi can't communicate. Tarana also wore a maid outfit in that, uh, I think that's season finale. I think the maid cafe, right? <laughs> okay, sure. Can you? Uh... I don't think Ko would ever... We'll see. We'll see if she can really do it. But I guess we're going to see uh, story arcs of each vampire that we've met so far, right? They're not all vampires, right? It's just Nazna and her, right? Uh, it's just... Yamori? <laughs> don't ruin the roleplay. Minus one. Hmm. 
I would feel so self-conscious if I was in here. Looking at the other, like, customer being like, yeah, I'm shameless as fuck. I guess the culture is different, but I don't know. Maid Cafe, you're going in for a certain service and it's... Uh, uh, maybe I'm being shameless. Maybe I'm being shameful. I don't know. Because she's not a maid vibe. She just... She got time for that shit. <laughs> that wasn't very maid-like either. <laughs> Everyone is like, the fuck? Alright, maid, maid gear, go in. Does she have a maid gear though? I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. Whoa! Master dude! Arushi, no, you're not Rango from Sly. Waga Arushi! Haven't heard that in a long time. The master, big boss, my leech. Nah, you gotta go Jushi sama. Yeah, but like. Yeah, she is cute, but I don't think like. Peace. Let's see it. Oh my, my dude! Look at him. Ah, oh, soul healing. <laughs> Thank you. How was it? Hmm. He cares more about the drink rather than the service itself. Huh. Okay. Hmm? Your magic touch. I wonder if there's an actual magic touch. <laughs> hmm. Probably sugary charms. It's the latter. It's the latter. I don't think there's anything special about the drink. He's just... He's just trying to engage the conversation so that she feels more charming, bubbly, and... Oh? Wait, wait, who is this? Do I remember her? Can't what? Whoa. She's bending over. Hey, care careful, careful, careful. Guys! Respectfully! <laughs> Look at them! Look at them! That's part of the service. I get it. Yeah, that's part of the service. A little creepy, but that's the culture here. She doesn't embellish herself at all. She just rules this entire maid cafe, huh? Wow. Do you feel jealous then? How do you feel about it? Are you, you you're pretty happy about it? Wow! 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 School. Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. She likes her a lot. Drinking beer. <laughs> Nay, shouldn't be like this. <laughs> okay. Oh, she looks pretty cute there on the table like that. A male for- Oh! That's Arisu, isn't it? So when they were bending over, there were some guys like kind of creeping, right? <laughs> uh, whoa, 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 whoa! We're just confirming, investigating, but who took those and why do we? Why do they send it to her? Her hair, her hair. There, her long brown hair is there. There. Very attentive to detail. Hmm? Alright, let's do it. Do we have CCTV in the cafe? Okay. Jesus. <laughs> no, 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 this is just for the prep work, I'm sorry. It's, uh, it's, I don't think she really minded though. I mean, Arisa was very welcoming to Yamori in the beginning too. I think it was just more professionalism, but... I don't, it's not your fault, honestly. That's no, no, no. That's like victim blaming. It's those fucking creepy dudes that took the picture's fault. Get out of here. Don't look or get out of here. Uh, I won't look. <laughs> Pick the phone. <laughs> but somebody, we left the window open. And she's getting changed again. What if somebody was in the balcony is actually taking pictures? Moe Moe cute! <laughs> it's the same guy again! Another vampire is doing this? But she sent- she got it sent to her own phone, didn't it? Another vampire could be- I don't know. Maybe another- Hello. Ah, <laughs> uh, we're doing detective work. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. 
<laughs> We're not the culprits. Don't don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Relax, relax. Yeah, what's up? The way she talked was like, come on, go do it. I'm so confident. So that wasn't the balcony POV then? <laughs> Wanna go try it? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Vampires show up in photos? I guess they don't show up in mirrors, but I guess they do show up in photos. What, what, what? Did he figure something out? Brain Blast! Fucking Jimmy Neutron looking ass right now. <laughs> what is it? What is it? What have you figured out? Oh? What happened? Teach me. Tell me. Having a Detective Conan episode right now. Lots of chess? Is it a Detective Conan line? Never mind. Is it? I don't know. I haven't seen Detective Conan in a long time. Is it? Is it directly from it? I can't... I can't remember this specific reference because... It's been years since I've seen the series, but... Hmm. Only 80? What's the 20% then? Oh, oh, it's dropping all of a sudden. Okay, so it's just a guess. Y okay, it's definitely... It's, it's a fucking guess. Maybe? Maybe. Eh. <laughs> but tell me, what's your logic? Hmm? Someone's coming. Arisa? What, what? Could it be Arisa herself that took it? Why? They're kind of like tricker right now. She herself took the pictures? Because of her popularity dropping? And she would send that to Midori's phone? Why? I We're pretty close in the locker though, Jesus. Uh, typical touchy-touchy uh, scene in a locker room. This doesn't happen in anime ever. Arisa really did it herself. She opened the window and took it like... Why? I don't know. She did it herself! Ah! I was right! Got you! So what I don't understand is... Oh, yeah. So what I don't get is... Why did she send those pictures to Midori then? To prove that you're still popular. Uh, she just wanted like external just like... Yeah, because the first thing that we did when we saw the pictures was, oh, why isn't Mido why isn't my photos in here? You know, that's what Midori said. A mental illness. Ah, uh, that's kind of mean, but kind of true, but kind of mean, but uh... you're ill. But that's normal, and that's fine. Arisa, just stick around. It's okay. I like her. It says, but you're not a human, though. You're not a human, though. You sure. Okay. All right. Okay, you gotta have a cute pose, Yamori. Come on. That's the episode. Pretty chill episode. I didn't... Like, previous episode was pretty heavy, right? That shit was, like, melodramatic out of fucking nowhere. It's like, oh my god. It hit really hard because Seri seemed to be the kind that didn't really care. But then she started crying and sobbing and, like, holy shit, man. This is a Wendy's kind of deal, right? I'm like, your life story just getting burdened. Like, this episode was pretty chill. And I'm not saying the previous episode was bad. That was amazing. I'm just saying this episode wasn't, like, just hard hitting like that. Just pretty chill episode. Detective Conan kind of episode. I, I'm pretty sure there were references to um, maybe Detective Conan. I would imagine because this anime seems to be referencing other animes too, like the previous episode. I'm not crazy, right? That was a JoJo reference, right? It had to be. Is that, was that a JoJo reference? So we we got we got to know more about Arisa than Midori, to be honest. I wanted to know more about the vampires, but Arisa looks cute. She's fine. She's fine. I'm just, I just hope that this uh, investment into her character in this one episode is just going to be to waste. Because now she just becomes a jobber and we just forget about her. But I guess Nazna is now going to continue working at the maid cafe. Like, she, she just fucked the massage work. I, may, or maybe she has that as a side hustle and she picked up more work here, right? She got to pay the bills. Kind of sad that vampires, even though they kind of have like escaped society or broken, I don't know, the structure of society. They're not human, right? But they still gotta fucking work a job and pay the bills. We can't escape that. <laughs> no! Oh my god. I think the best part was the Moe Moe Kyun part. Minori is actually really cute. There was 
Other than Midori, wasn't there another like really young girl too? There was like two like middle school or high school girls I remember beside the on the couch when we met like the Legion of Vampires, right? But they didn't really talk about anything about killing us today. That's pretty good, right? There were some a lot of uh, there was a lot of fan service scenes for between Midori and Yamori just a bit, but Yamori said, eh, you know that, that kind of shit doesn't really doesn't really do anything for me. But what does though? Nazna to an extent, but he's not in love with her. I thought that maybe this episode, uh, we, like Midori would be a maid cafe, and then she would kind of like flirt with Yamori, and then maybe Nazna would get jealous, and then she would try to fight for not, you know, Midori's, uh, Yamori's like uh, affection, and because that seems the jealousy seems to be like one of the best ways to try to get Yamori and Nazna's feelings to really connect with each other, right? But still, not much progress in terms of love. But we still have plenty of time, right? We have like a year or something. Well, an anime time. I'm sure. It'll, I'm sure it'll be fine. And would they really kill us if nothing really happened in a year? Maybe it'll happen on right on the dot as the year passes. What, what are they gonna do? Fucking keep a counter? Like, oh, when did you meet? I'm gonna keep a counter on you. I, really? Would they audit us like that? That seemed to be too serious. But anyways, if you stick around this long, if you don't enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm gonna say. Check out the other videos and playlists in my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps YouTube algorithm push out my small channel to be recommended so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys. Take care.